friends this is shamal here this is world of kittens and cats or animals it's a very very interesting for me it's a matter of understanding the ecological system or the food chain and their survival tactics so we always think only humans they are emotional they play only the emotional card as and when required but i believe today that while working on my emotional that my mind lab my my animal house where i am studying the animal behavioral their emotional intelligence part i i have totally taken 360 degree turn now my concept of this animal world is totally totally changed i personally feel they are much more intelligent than us and uh, i'll tell you the reason why first of all last for five months i have been working before that from childhood i have been working on animal behavior i have not given very serious thought that animal includes cat rat different chickens buffaloes monkeys so even rats guinea pigs and mongoose there are many 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 things at childhood i have handled it but i used to think those are those animals are probably they play with the instinct and kind of thing but i today i feel they are they are much more mature than us and they they do whatever the things they are doing it they are very very calculative in terms of whatever exercise they do it and there is a purpose probably they do it and they have also a very kind of a systematic thing like all humans the way we try to organize ourselves like a small kid when they are born and how human world is trying to teach that small kid many things like how to talk how to walk so how to take food so how to be disciplined uh, many other things probably the education our education system we we try to teach them of different words and we teach them how to speak how to smile and how to cry there are many things probably we teach them each and everything that is been taught by our society their parents many things but for the animals i i sometime i wonder like so there are many things they are, they they learn by default i i had experience for a pregnant cat who came to my house and she delivered few babies from the day one i could see the emotional part of the mother cat how she is trying to play with humans with emotional cards she is playing and she is trying to gain or gather sympathy that sympathy means like you no know, she wants to take help that is what i feel that anybody who wants to take help probably see see has brought down her level her anger and everything she has surrendered and she probably tried to say or express that she needs help so from the day one i could realize i have been offering food i have offered shelter and last 3 months i have been i have given all kind of sources probably required for their survival in that process what i have learned that that many things i have learned i put cctv camera inside the mind lab and there are in number of videos such as that they have 
they have the ability to learn in a much more faster way many things they have learned from their mother so first of all how to identify different object how to identify their enemies how to hide how to take food so how to also take the liquid or solid things how to smell how not to take any kind of things what is kind of a prey or they killed it so immediately they don't jump on and eating those things they usually take some time they know how to play also how to climb trees many other things they have learned how to cross roads so how to how to kill the prey and how to how to be playful in front of their animal the the human friends so they try to be more composed over there and now you can see in this video this this is a kitten probably 14 days old she is a motherless she is coming to my another mind lab my office and i have given her a shelter first day probably i could see i had lot of doubt in my mind whether she will be able to survive or not but first day i offered little bit food and she has eaten she has taken a rest today i could see she is a very very playful now now she is she is she is a 14 days like no now you can see her what are the things she is learning actually it was there's a morning video last night what and happened she 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 was sleeping here she jumped from this place to in my bed and she slept on my close to my neck uh, for hours and i was surprised that such a small kit and she also needs to have kind of a love and affection that is what it is surprised me that she jumped from this place to the bed it is close to 3 and 1/2 feet how come she can jump now probably she is practicing the same thing the entire video is talking about is she is learning how to jump from from one place to another place i really do not know who taught them you can see her her entire entire exercise is is based on from this lower part to upper part how to how to jump she is calculating many things over there it is quite interesting for me that even for a small cat of 14 days old she is having all kind of things in her mind she, she knows that she has to be accompanied by somebody for her survival that is number 1 and morning she is practicing this part probably i am sure that two nights she will be able to jump very easily maybe last night she has struggled a little bit that part probably that is going in her mind that i want to overcome the situation and she wants to be successful see how she is trying all kind of tricks over here this is quite uh, quite amazing until or unless they don't have the intelligence probably they won't be able to do it sometime i told in my many videos if you imagine a 14 days or 2 weeks 3 weeks a human kid probably they do not have that kind of knowledge and wisdom to exercise their brain their brain is totally immature a 14 days cat is having so much mature brain first of all she is adapting a different place now she knows my entire office well she knows my office room she knows my kitchen she knows her place where to sleep she is not sleeping here and there whole day she sleeps over here only she she is not littering also here and there she goes to washroom and she does all kind of exercise in a very precise manner so who taught them that is what my question i had, i was going through a lot of literature it was told that there are a lot of genetic properties that is in inbuilt with the animal world 
they learn by default but those kind of exercise learning is is a probably i think her mother might have taught something now she is no more i believe otherwise how it is possible for her to do all kind of exercise what is required for our survival that is what it's a big question mark if i consider a kind of a orphan child a motherless human child if they are allowed to grow without having any kind of societal support whether they are going to survive or not that is my question but in case of animal probably they can they can survive in any kind of adverse condition so first day she was not taking food nowadays she is drinking milk she is taking little bit solid food also like rice uh, even rice with milk and also bread sweet bread she is taking so that is that is very much very much positive thing now you can see she is jumping from at least from 3 feet to down that is what it is very interesting that she has done many times first initial few steps she has done mistake now now her jumping is very perfect now she is trying to identify whatever objects are there at office she is trying to touch each and everything and get a feeling out of it i really do not know like no the the animal world probably all the animals i have seen other also another five cats it is almost the same behavioral pattern because they are little mature they behave little mature way but since she is just 14 days old probably her behavior or actions are little immature and doing it a very kind of a haphazard way trying to touch many things together so that is the normal tendency when you are a small kid or something human kid when they are they are understanding certain things they try to learn many things at the same time because of the curiosity and i feel this this kitten is having ample curiosity to know many things right she how she is moving from one object to another object sometimes she comes to me touches my feet probably she sits for some time so that is what i feel probably she she is trying to express something that whether she is doing the right thing or wrong thing probably she is trying to ask me a question probably i do not have any answer probably i how, how can i say that whether you are doing the right thing or wrong thing probably it is indirect way of expressing something now she she is taking a kind of a rope so now she will be playing for some time then she will jump over to another objective she like that i have seen her she might have touched in number of things that is that is lying around uh, even for this this see this is a chapel and she will she will do whatever whatever things like no she will put her see this is what it is sometimes i feel that what she actually needs right only she wants to play probably that is the kittens they have the habit to play sometimes they play independently i have seen my other my lab even though there are four kittens so four four out of four kittens not at the same time all are involved or exercising the same activities somebody is doing something somebody will be doing something each one is different as i was talking to i was going through a lot of literature i told i was working on a very kind of a theory that is on emotions uh, basically i want to apply the oxan theory on emotions even though oxan theory that has been used for kind of a bargaining process for tendering process is from stanford university somebody has got nobel prize in 1918 and 19 that is for 
for tendering process auction theory that has been used to get better price. My objective is to use the auction theory to understand the knowledge of each and every kitten is different. That is what I failed in my mind lab. What I did, the four kittens, I have leveled them. I could see their behavioral learning attitude, understandings are totally, totally different. Probably one kitten probably will be coming to you. She will try to dance around you. She will try to touch your feet. Other kitten will, will do something else. Other kitten will try to jump on a Christmas tree at, that is theirs. And some will be eating for a longer time. So that is what I feel that each kitten are different. Their, their temperaments are also different. Some are very gentle. Some are very kind of a short tempered, right? If you touch them, they, they will just, they will they will run away from your place some cats are very very smart and obedient they will come to you they will come to your lap i have seen at night whenever i come there are a lot of kittens what they do when i open the door of my main house what they do basically they all the kittens not all the kittens jump on my bags there may be one or two they will follow me and follow my shoe. They will jump. They will hold me for some time. But the other will be watching that what others two are doing. This is quite interesting for me that after some time that two will go and another two will come. They will do the same exercise. Here I could see this kitten is alone but she is trying to do many things and trying to learn independently. The things probably what she has learned probably well, now she is practicing probably. But in such a small kitten that again I had a question mark whether her mother taught her something or not. If this is not taught by somebody, their mother, then who taught this kitten to do all kind of exercise? Even for eating foods, right? When I offered food, initially she was not reluctant or she was hesitant to accept solid food. Then I have put into small pieces. She has taken once, then two, three, four like that she was eating. So now you can see she is touching my feet and going, running away. Again, she will come back. So what made them to touch me, that is what. She is trying to impress me. I really do not know, but, but she has a feeling that probably she is not able to identify something that I am from thinking that I am from her community probably. I am like another cat maybe, maybe thinking because there are a lot of small animal what had happened like in a birds also it has been seen that if you keep the eggs so the small birds comes out from those eggs and they try to nurture them and they treat them their kids kind of thing similar way probably this kitten might be thinking i am i am i am a kind of a oil wisher probably they might be thinking she might be thinking that i am like another cat maybe so, probably she doesn't have the idea which one two, two different genus altogether. So, is it that way? The analysis is, is good. I am asking this question because she is trying to project her, herself like a way that look what I am doing, you should appreciate all those things. Now she is again coming back and trying the earlier attempt was she was trying. Her objective is to climb this jump from this three feet barrier. That is what she is practicing. Like in childhood we have done a lot of exercise, high jump and long jump kind of thing. In the school days, same thing she is, she is practicing. She is practicing this exercise for a longer time. Today I could see that these behavioral patterns probably already everything is there in their mind that is registered after 15 minutes back she has done the same exercise till after 15 minutes she is again coming back doing the same practice means what 
is it by default or she was taking a break similar way when when we in childhood if you are studying one subject for certain time you feel bored then you switch over to another subject so this is quite natural for us also anything you 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 go for little longer time 15 20 minutes or a class lecture for anything probably it goes up to 25 minutes to maximum 30 minutes so after that this boring thing is coming to the picture your mind is saturated with the same subject probably cat also might be thinking in that direction that's why they don't like to continue the same thing for a longer time they switch over from one work to another work now you can see what she is doing now it is quite quite interesting for me to to know that those acts are not the madness that is what i feel number one this these acts are quite mature one that is what i feel and it is for all the acts what they are doing is the better man now you can see this video is is a very very interesting video that i want to say that there is one more kitten that is coming from the neighbor's house she was roaming around for few days now see she has come to my place twice she knows this place very well early morning it's around four o'clock i have opened the door probably to make the video from two o'clock i've been trying to do a lot of things today I, I my mind was totally because i feel that i won't get an opportunity like this you get an opportunity to this exercise probably once in blue moon this small kitten you can see outside this kitten is watching they're totally unknown first time they are seeing it so this first time there are a lot of curiosity this cat outside cat she's trying to come inside this cat is also trying to see the other cat now see she's she's taking a back she feels that she's the host over here she has every right now she's little little taking a little back step now she's having food now you can see how she is moving out she failed because this other cat is little bigger size she felt that it's not good for her to fight see probably it's a kind of a instant decision she has taken and 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 that made her to get inside her bed now this cat from outside you can see this is little bigger she is also a kitten maybe for 35 40 days old so now she is watching the game that what is game what is this game theory going on there are two minds right she is thinking that who is this tiny tiny kitten gone inside now you see the her approach what she is going to do she is waiting for her to come out so there will be a kind of a first meeting they want to do it they want to have a direct face to face kind of conversation probably they are waiting for the opportunity let's hope now she is moving out so she failed probably she is not coming out I really do not know that what is going to happen now where is this kitten has gone she has gone inside so whether she is coming out or not that probably now she is there inside she is, she knows that things where that has been placed so she is very much safe she feel that as long as i am here so i am going to protect her she, is, she has she has taken a kind of a back step and she has come inside inside the room so this is this is a very very interesting video probably i could see that the same way the psychological part of two different individual when they are meeting together first time their mode of approach is totally totally different and they 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 take little time to adjust so now she's she's playing and uh, playing with a different the polythene object it is it is blowing in air she is trying to catch that part so 
now probably she has within 15 minutes probably she has taken many jobs together it is a kind of a multi task probably she has taken but she is not bored at all so human mind also sometimes you take very kind of a multitask oriented thing so you don't feel bad about it because it is the ability of your mind probably can handle whether you are capable to handle multitask or not that is one of the thing probably i've been talking for a long time that that very few probably can take very kind of a multitask multitask you are giving somebody job one two three four jobs sometime we are familiar with only one job only one job we want to con continue for a for a one time if you are giving two or three jobs then it would be very difficult for somebody that is coming through maturity i've been talking for a i i talk to my colleagues my my friends and other they say that taking multitask is a very difficult job but it is important whenever you are in organization when you are handling some kind of managerial skill it is very very important to handle multitask because your responsibility of a manager or a kind of a when you are executing things any project or anything you need to handle many issues so many issues means many ideas many many conflict many things will come into the picture but you have to have a kind of a coolness or calmness to handle all kind of situation now you could see that 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 earlier cat is here the first cat who came to my house she is the original inhabitants uh, like no one resident of my house she has the original claim that she feels that few times back i had made a video she felt that i have been deprived when she saw that small kitten is there inside my house she is not coming inside at all she felt she has been cheated by me i have cheated her so her right so i have told her you come inside there is no problem you are always welcome they are also all our friends only you don't worry about all those things so never mind relationship is fine so you will be getting your food and dues it's nothing to worry she is not coming at all i am trying to hold the camera a little far away from this cat to show that at initial time if my door is open she will straight away will be coming inside without without taking my permission there is no question of taking permission probably now she is not coming even the door is open and they have the tendency probably friends uh, i was in continuation with this uh, kittens like so their playful nature you can see that see, the early morning 5 o'clock she is playing she is playing with different objects so it is very very interesting to know that this is first time getting exposed to many objects that is more interesting probably to know all those things so that is one of the issue i have been telling that cats are very very kind of very sensitive they try to touch upon all kind of objects whatever things are available around they they will smell if you offer them food they will simply they don't eat those foods they will smell it I and mean, this kitten uh, i was trying to offer food and she was thinking that i am going to eat her food so she was using her front leg to stop me not to touch those foods <laughs> that is also a small video so how much defensive they are in terms of their food and other things that is quite interesting to note all kind of things and uh, few more observation that is probably if i talk about this small kitten of 14 days old 14 15 days 
this is a kind of a amazing video probably this will talk about voluminous thing that if you really try in life is everything is possible see this kitten is uh, she has gone on top of this bed she was sleeping and when i we have called her that you come and have meal she got off and she is trying to jump from the bed but she could understand the height of the bed she was not very very confident that how she will be jumping from the top i was not helping her she was crying and little bit she was very much in a kind of a puzzle condition that whether she will be able to jump or not that is what a question that is what it was stacking in my mind i want to see finally whether she is able to jump or not but i was sure the way she was trying hard to come down and i thought she will be able to do it and finally let's see what she does at the end of the video that is what is more interesting see the kind of attempt she was making she was trying trying hard so she was gazing that what is that what is the distance from this height so whether probably her mind this injury factor is not there that fear factor might be there that if she is jumping from the stop like you no know, see might also succumb to kind of an injury that is what i i personally feel she was moving at other direction there probably she was finding something probably whether from that angle whether she will be able to jump or not now she is feeling little different whether she is annoyed or she is tired that is what it is now she is crying actually i paused the actual video sound what conversation i had i am making a continuous video that's why i have to switch off the whatever conversation i was just encouraging her you just come down come down come down so you try try hard so that is what it is and she was trying she was listening what i am speaking and finally probably yes <laughs> that is the final turn probably she could able to come down she knows where exactly foods are kept she stay to a enters in inside kitchen and this is the milk probably i offered that milk she was hungry so sure. they are there they are very much tuned with all kind of things they know when they are hungry and how to cry also they know this cat is cat is very very, very sensitive in terms of their food habit they know how to how to cry this meow and meow these things probably it's, it's a symbolic thing but it is a one type of emotional speech probably they convey in in front of their mother or whoever it might be they 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 show that they are hungry or they are in a kind of a condition probably they need certain help that is a good part from cat the other animals probably i do not know what kind of uh noise or what kind of signal they give when they are hungry i know monkeys they give also different kind of signaling that when they are hungry so for cats it is absolutely absolutely visible from that point of view whether they are hungry or not and now she is enjoying the meal can she is taking lot lot of solid foods also so initial days two days back she was not taking any kind of solid foods so now i'm able to give some bread and i see 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 she's see, see, holding her leg you can see here she was stopping me she not to touch the food that is what exactly i want to tell many times she has done the same tricks like she thought probably i am going to eat those foods so it is very interesting to note all kind of very psychological thing probably the games small kind of mind game also they play with humans and those are very small thing but it matters a lot probably when you think that they are animal and uh, 
they are all uh, how they they play such kind of low role very very first way very instantaneously they do all kind of exercise that is quite very interesting nobody has told them probably but they have learned all kind of tricks in their life i have showed that other uh, cat when that cat enters how she behaves with that cat it is my my feeling is she has probably understood i am insider you are outsider that is what it is you are not supposed to come inside so that is kind of a dominance kind of thing that that the right probably they know their right the food she was eating she was not able to share this food to others so it's very kind of a very similar kind of behavioral pattern probably one can see with a small kid if you offer them food and how they behave with the other kids sometimes they they are not very reluctant or very generous to give share those foods to other kids that is a kind of a very protective nature sometimes they feel this is mine even for doll also even if you offer them or a kid is having her or his own doll initially he or she might not be interested to share this doll to others it has been seen uh, in the human kids that the similar exercise probably if you do it you will understand it friends it is very interesting to note all kind of animal behavior basically the cats right their emotional part their understanding all those things they do it with full knowledge that is what i want to convey whatever things they are doing which is their fullest knowledge they are doing it that is more important it's not that friends i want to draw a few conclusion from my understanding of this uh, kind of a long video number 1 what i have felt uh, first thing i want to tell you after this entry of cat inside my mind lab the number of rat population has reduced like anything probably this big rat has <coughs> taken 3 4 lives so she was playing very emotional card for few days to get into the system and she has killed four rats and i have one video to support that after that i don't see any rats they are living here they have totally displaced from one place to another place so there are the natural enemy probably the the relationship between cat and rat it's a very kind of a see by nature they are the kind of a rivalry so they have their opposite thoughts in a food chain so prey and they are predator and <laughs> prey kind of thing so they probably understand in a better way the rats probably whoever like you know, was living here they feel that it's a basically a kind of a danger for them so they have run away from this place this is one part the second part is the cats are very emotional they know how to how to behave with humans in a much more sober way uh, the rats are unable to do that they they have their still the stealing attitude are there i have seen observed in also crow they have the stealing mentality and their collective stealing mentality the entire family will come and steal the whole lot of things and their imagination knowledge wisdom everything works on the, that particular direction they don't believe in in a democratic process or anything for that matter the time it is coming stealing certain things the third thing what i want to convey over the knowledge part of cat of 14 days cat can be compared with a human boy or a girl of 6 to 7 years right so 14 days knowledge is, is equivalent to 6 7 years the kind of maturity and intelligence this cat is having probably no human kid will be able to do such kind of exercise at the age of probably 14 15 days probably that is what because their brain is totally kind of immature and their 14 days 
rats a cat's mind is totally full of maturity they know many of the things for their survival and probably that is inbuilt many things they learn very first from the day one they learn all kind of things and 14 days means it's a for them it's a too long time to to adjust and adapt all kind of environment and they are very capable to adjust all kind of adverse condition if they are hungry also if you don't offer them food for one day they will cry probably and they will they know how to survive in the adverse condition and that from nature probably they have learned all kind of tricks and uh, this is the survival mechanism in case of human probably they don't know all kind of things they have uh, opportunity or kind of scope to have access for all kind of things as and when required so they have not countered such kind of problems probably they very few instances probably when the poverty is there all kind of places those things are there i'm talking about in general like generally everybody tries to give whatever basic things required for a kids so for rats as for for cats probably i am mixing with rats and cats probably that is both synonymous the word so they are very much uh, very much adaptive kind of they are adjustment they are uh, they mixing with people in a very faster way they want to understand the place the where they live everything they they within a few hours probably they were aware about the whole area and the friendship with human emotions they do, do not understand the or probably they do they have the judgment capability the humans are not their enemy probably in but if you see in that case probably rats will never come in front of you either it is a sm- hello friends i want to this is paul here again i want to conclude by saying few things over here the cats are uh, their behavioral patterns are totally different from the different age group like you no know, the small kittens probably they would love to have food and they sleep for 17 18 more than 20 hours probably they sleep they eat sleep eat sleep they play whenever they want to play they play they play in a group a different kind of objects uh, and they also learn many things from their mother uh, their animal instincts basically those things they are the learning probably i'll have separate video i have certain evidence to show collaborate those kind of animal instinct activities what they do it here i'm talking something else they are talking about a small kitten especially that i could see that the kittens of 14 15 days the knowledge and uh, probably they have it is much more higher than any human at that particular age and they have very much uh, Uh, in kind of ability to play and ability to adjust in many environment adverse condition and they would like to be with humans you can see that cat kitten i have given her a separate shelter probably she is not sleeping there she she has recognized my bed and she is sleeping next to me in daytime also i have showed the video the first video is she is sleeping on my bed the question is nobody is telling all those things but they are doing it very kind of very consciously probably they want to have some kind of company so a human touch probably they want to have it that is a good part i feel their playful nature they don't harm human and they are very much disciplined and they don't litter here and there i could see their body language they look towards you probably they understand your body language well that is what i want to tell you if you show unhappiness or anger probably they will uh, run away from you uh, many times this has happened so in the mature cat they have that kind of ability to judge your mind like anything the way the uh, mature human being looking towards somebody's eyes their body language they, everything they understand well the cat also they understand your body language well like monkeys they they understand your body language well in my video i have told that if you show the finger or show you the hand they will understand what you mean by that 
similar way cats has got the ability to judge you well that is a very very kind of a good thing and uh, as i have told you cat they have ability to identify or smell out certain things they can well advance smell the what are the things that they are if you prepare food they will they will come to your place like you no know, they will demand for food they don't never uh, hesitant to kind of knock your door i have a video i have told you that that one kitten that one cat has brought from the neighbor's house while she was crying so literally at night to 2 2:30 that cat very much she knocked the door i have to open it and i have to offer them meal can food and those kind of things probably they they demand very expected or unexpected way those are very general thing they feel it if you don't offer them they will come in front of you they will plead in front of you that is that is very much seen another thing is at initial stage if any unknown cats are coming probably they take little time to kind of an adjustment is very kind of human like you no know, the way they adjust little time to adjust or adapt with another person so that that is there probably cat is having similar kind of thing i have seen that other cats when they enter the kind of in uh, behavioral pattern their body language is totally totally different at initial level they understand their right well uh, they they if you if you try to displaced from the place where they are sleeping they they want to come back to that particular place means they are very much familiar with that particular place whenever they want to litter or whenever they want to urinate they usually use the particular place for urination for many other activities they do is they don't do all kind of mess up thing here and there so i i feel that cats are that way very much kind of a a disciplined animal and uh, probably that's why i have given the thing probably if they can adjust with the family they are living with the family and it can give a little kind of emotional playful support to human kids they can play with them there are many things to learn from those cats so nowadays is a kind of a family nucleus family kind of thing are there when kids are there at home if you have cats probably that is going to give somebody mental support they can play so it has been seen in many places like you no know, if you play guitar play violin play music so cats can give little company and reduce your stress level that is what i want to say so they are they are really good in nature and uh, for rats are also rats are very much afraid of cats so so possibility of rats they are the destroyer kind of thing at your home probably i am not telling they should be killed all but the in a inside home probably they destroy many items like your food material your cloth various <laughs> other things in that context probably rats are generally the wild rats are not generally kept inside home they are usually outside home so that is one part but if cats are there inside there is no harm so my i have given a kind of a proposal in my idea that if cat can be adapted each house if cats are been adapted there are many environmental factors sustainable growth many other things i have tried to draw lot of economic models through this my cat behavioral studies their emotional studies studies their education probably the auction theory i have talked about their emotional part if this is used for our education system for kids probably it has it, it has got lot of values probably individual cat can be treated in a different way yes the bigger cat they have much more knowledge and wisdom they are more knowledgeable that is what i feel i was talking about this cat see the first cat she comes to my 
my lab and she was with me she is a regular visitor she is not staying here 24 7 but i could see she is living here i could see she is living here and she is a regular visitor over here and she has got her own right in this particular mine lab and she feels she is the first cat probably that's why she felt very bad when she has seen that small kitten inside so whole night she was sleeping outside at my mind lab office so i also felt bad in morning i have tried to console her i told her look it is not laughing like that you are my first guest so how can i ignore you so there is no question of ignoring you your importance your importance will be here for first preference will go to you only that is what i have tried to convey and she was she was probably has understood and afterwards she has tried to adjust a whole lot of thing so cats are also having the capabilities probably to understand various other issues they also feel equally and they i am happy also she has reciprocated in the same way so finally she came inside afterwards she has taken food from inside she has tried to also make friendship with other kittens that is good part i was a little afraid probably she might attack the small kitten probably but she is she is probably reasonably understanding the whole thing probably generally it happens when you are at home so the relationship prey and so those kind of small big things probably they don't consider they consider them all as a family members so that kind of concept probably she has realized otherwise if it is at outside probably they might harm that is what i have seen there are a lot of cats they come from outside at my mind lab and they make a lot of fights right this is a rigorous fight i have so much videos to collaborate that that fight went to a kind of a bloody fight kind of thing so the kind of insider versus outsider the way we fight so finally those kind of similar nature is there among the cats because they have always the territorial disputes so each cat probably when they are uh, on the roadside they know their territory well so nobody is trying to overtake their territory so if you cross the territory probably there will be a danger there will be a fight that had many times that has been seen so they fight for other probably lot of biological needs that is there in the animal world there is nothing to talk about that part that is quite natural so finally i feel they have many things to talk about the cats there are many things to learn from cats their behavioral pattern if humans are trying to learn many things from cat probably it would be much more better and wiser i feel they are much more wiser than human and they are much more their adaptive capabilities are much more higher than humans their knowledge only thing they don't express they are not able to express they do not have that capabilities for many reasons probably okay it is by nature it is good or bad there is nothing to talk about so so now this finally i want to conclude by saying that that's the the amazing amazing animals probably one should really appreciate their their nature and their appearances their color so such a beautiful color and very cozy kind of thing and uh, i told you in my previous videos they are very violent they are non violent and they act in different times seeing your attitude they adapt gandhian philosophy they adapt 
Shubhas Chandra's philosophy violence movement, many things they adopt, but they have their own wisdom. What time they want to use, what kind of philosophy probably they know it well. Based on the time, based on the situation, and they exercise their knowledge and wisdom probably. See, if we humans are using such kind of wisdom and knowledge probably, will be a perfect person at the end of the day. Once again, I feel probably I have talked a lot about those cats, nothing to talk more about. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thanks a lot.